Hey, what's up, you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you a video talking about the fact that, yes, it's actually true this time that The Vampire Diaries on the CW is coming to an end. Um, season 8, which will be starting this October, will in fact be the last season. And no, this isn't just some like actor saying he thinks this might be the last one. Um, it's Julie Pleck actually saying at the Comic Con panel that it will in fact be the last season, the final season. Um, we've gotten a lot of uh, videos about it now. You know, we've gotten a you know, post from Facebook. You know, a bunch of uh, interviews and stuff, which you can look at. You know, I favorited a bunch of interviews with the cast. Um, so let's go to my favorites on my channel. You can now watch a bunch of them, as well as the uh, actual Comic Con panel. Um, but yeah, so they also did this really, really special and you know touching farewell video, which you can. Uh, watch on the Vampire Diaries Facebook page and uh, I shared it as well but you probably just want to go to the Vampire Diaries Facebook page to watch that. It's a really nice tribute. It's like uh, 8 minutes or so. It, just the voiceovers and stuff you know, from all the actors. It, it really hits you and uh, feels if you were ever a fan of the show. Um, but you know I've talked about this before uh, a lot of us fans have felt like that season 8 would be the last season um, you know we had heard before that Ian Summerholder you know and Kat Graham were both leaving um, so a lot of us were wondering okay could they really go on without Bonnie you know could they really go on without you know Damon you know one of the Silvator brothers especially um, and it appears like this is the natural end for the story as a whole and I you know, of course, I'm sad to see the, uh, to know that the show is going to be over, but as a huge fan of the show for, you know, quite a while now, um, I'm honestly happy. Um, you know, it's not because I'm one of those people saying, oh yeah, TVD sucks now, so I'm glad it's over. No, I'm not one of those people. Um, although I think it was better in earlier seasons, it's still good, and I still have a hell of a lot of faith in how they're going to conclude it. I think they're going to do something really amazing and uh, very satisfying for all the fans in the uh, final episode, and my expectations are really high, and I have just all the confidence in the world with how they're going to handle it, and I think it'll be, a, I think it'll be something really special for us. Um... Uh, how do I feel about an ending in general? You know, I just talked about that, but yeah, I am sad. You know, even though I'm I'm excited to see how it ends. You know, I'm really curious. I'm interested. I know it's going to be really well done, like I just talked about. Um, but you know, again, despite it not being as good as I think it was at one point, um, TVD. You know, hashtag TVD forever, of course. Um, Despite it not being quite what it was at one point, I'm still gonna, you know, miss the hell out of the show, and the show is gonna go down as one of my absolute favorites of all time. No question about it, man. Um, you know, when it actually ends, um, you know, in the winter sometime, I think it will be at that point. Um, probably, I think it's gonna be like in February, I forget when season seven ended. <laughs> uh, let's look it up real quick, shall we? So let me see this real quick. Okay, you know, so Gods and Monsters uh, concluded, you know, the season 7 finale that was on May 13th. Okay, so it'll be into the summer a little bit, like I kind of expected. Um, you know, so it'll probably be around that time when season 8's over. You know, so we have a while yet, but I'll probably talk more about this when the final episode does actually air, but like I said, this goes down as one of my favorite shows of all time. I'm not exaggerating whatsoever. It's probably within my top five, actually, for sure. Um, it, it's hard to put in order, <laughs> uh, but I put it over a bunch of stuff that would, you know, surprise people. Uh, but if you know me, you know how obsessed and just how much I care about this show. You know, it's it, it was really something special for me. Um, you know, like shows like Breaking Bad are great, you know, but to be honest, I put The Vampire Diaries over Breaking Bad. <laughs> and I know that sounds insane to some people, but, you know, it's just how I feel. And it's I'm probably going to cry in the final episode. <laughs> um, I, I expect, like, a very uh, bittersweet type of ending. Um, 
I don't think everything will be perfect, but I do think it'll it'll have some happiness to it. I don't think everyone's going to survive. I think overall it will be a feel good type of ending. Um, when it comes down to, it, I don't think it'll be completely like dark and gloomy or anything like that. Um, if you guys watched uh, Being Human on uh, Sci-Fi, the U.S. version, um, if you know how that ended, then I looked at that as like a definition of sort of a bittersweet ending. Breaking Bad also had a pretty uh, bittersweet ending as well. Um, so I think it'll be something along those lines, you know. Like, uh, I was watching a bunch of interviews with the cast and such. Um, you know, like Ian Somerhalder and Paul Wesley were both talking about how they sort of think the Salvatore should go out, you know, with a bang, you know, they don't, they think, uh, Damon and Stefan have, uh, you know, they've lived their life, and they, they feel like it'd be best if, uh, you know, they sort of, like, sacrifice themselves, and then everyone, you know, they save everyone else and stuff like that, and, you know, I could see that happening, I don't know if both Stefan and Damon will die in the final episode, but I can see it, um, and then, of course, the other characters would survive. I do, I do think we're going to see Damon and Elaine reunited. Um, it's, it's a moment we're counting on. I know we are, and I don't think it'll be a proper finale without the return of Elena. Um, so maybe Damon will, su will survive. Who knows? But um, uh, it's still, even though I said it's, it's the right, it feels like the right time for it to be over. I'm. It is to know it's actually ending. It's something different, you know. Um, I don't know how this is affecting the originals. It appears that the originals are still going to be going. Um, I I really fucking hope that uh, you know the CW just doesn't cancel the originals after season four or something. I hope they allow the originals to have a full run as well. Um, I don't know if it will go eight seasons, but I do hope uh, they let it go for a little while longer anyway and give that its proper conclusion which is another discussion in and of itself, but for now the originals are still going. Um, some people are wondering if characters like Caroline are going to go around to the originals. I don't know. I, I'd prefer Klaus with like Kaylee or something, please. <laughs> but I won't be surprised if they did do something like that. Um, we also have Kevin Williamson back as a writer for the show, which is great. You know, he uh, helped write the first couple seasons, and now he's back. And so that should give Phil some confidence about how this final season could go. Um, I I'm really looking forward to it. You know, like, sad it's ending, of course, but I'm really going to miss the cast and just the feel of the show. But excited to see how they do it. You know, I have a lot of faith in how they're going to pull it off, so... Yeah, let me know what you guys think about season eight of the Vampire Diaries being the last one. Um, what do you? How do you think it's gonna end? Do you think it'll be a bit sweet thing? Do you think it'll be just totally happy or sad? Um, how much? And how much are you gonna miss this fucking show? Come on, it, it was just something, you know. Anyway, I'll stop rambling. Um, out of all the stuff at Comic Con, I decided to talk about this first. <laughs> uh, well, along with the Walking Dead trailer, but honestly, Vampire Diaries ending is more important to me than any of that. Um, but tomorrow I will be doing a video talking about the Colin Skull Island trailer, and I will probably be doing a video on the uh, Wonder Woman and Justice League trailers as well at some point soon within the next couple days. As well as still wanting to do a video on the Vikings Season 4 trailer, uh, or at least the second half of it, as well as a video on uh, the 100 and certain things regarding that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and thefranceboldbed.com. Catch you guys next time. Passion, <laughs> love, uh, you know, passion, adventure, and even a little danger. That's it. <laughs> it's uh, It's been quite the ride. Can't wait to review the final season. It should be an interesting one for sure. I don't even know what this is.